there, YouTube. Uh, gonna be doing the second mission Back. of the Star, uh, StarCraft II Wings of Liberty campaign. So the first thing you're going to do is build an SCV and also build one Marine from the barracks and also send one Marine to the top uh, to take the gas and the mineral supply. Uh, once you get the supply, you want to build one supply depot and also build a tech lab from the barracks as soon as you can. And once you build the tech lab, you also want to start on the refinery. This is so you can get your uh, medics up faster. And medics are the key unit in this game. They're the SCV units that keep ready. your uh, marines alive for longer. And also, they're just really good Add units. On. Complete. Not enough minerals. So, Not enough minerals. we're going to want to head up to the top left to grab some more uh, mineral supplies. So just bring them up around the kind of the Got mountain. It. And we're going to want to target the medic first. The However, in. we have to wait for our medic to come in first, so um, our marines don't really die. Um, they do have a war pig, which is a really, really strong marine. So it does do some extra damage, so the medic is kind of needed, but you don't have to use it. So go ahead and focus on the medic, and then just um, do some micros, try and keep your medics, uh, not medics, marines alive. And uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem to take down the three marines and the war pig and the medic. Once you do get the uh, mer minerals, you're going to want to start to build two barracks. This is so you can get your marine production up and just build marines very fast. So one of the achievements of this uh, mission is that you have to beat it under 10 minutes on hard difficulty. This is on Brutal, so it is a bit harder, but it's still doable. And here comes the attack at 247. So you should expect an attack at 247. So if you're kind of slow with the, if you're probably if your army's out of position, you might want to try and get them back at your base to defend. Also try and keep up with your supplies. Once you have more production buildings, your supply count does go up very fast, so you do have to build more supply depots sooner. And now you're going to want to move out if you haven't already. Since we are on a time limit, we have to move out as soon as possible. So I do have um, about seven marines and three medics, and that is more than enough to clear um, the marines that are in the way. So you're going to move up a little bit and then wait for two marines to pop out and two more marines to pop out, and then you're just going to kill them as they come out. So you don't want to rush in and have to fight like nine marines at one time, and there is a war pig too, so it does make things more challenging. So go to the beacon and um, kind of get the, grab the units and get one marine to grab the resources and keep the rest at the ramp because there is going to be an attack coming. It's Rainers, boys. And try to keep up with your production. Don't let your macro slip because you really got to stay on point with this. So you can beat the uh, mission in 10 minutes. So you got to keep up the supplies because I am going to get supply blocks. Additional supply depots required. SCV ready. Bad guys are that away. So now that I have a pretty good decent Morning. amount of force, you're going to want to move Helions. out. And you are going to have to face Hellion, so try to fit them up so that the flame hits as little units as possible. Not enough minerals. So after that, try and heal up, wait for more reinforcements, because um, the next thing you're going to have to beat is a bunker, and that's going to have six marines in it, and they do focus fire down your marines, so they, your marines do die very fast. Again, keeping up with the supplies, because once the attack starts, it's kind of hard to keep up building supply depots. Nice job cleaning up and the amount of SCVs you want to have is about probably 22 or so. Um, you don't really need that many SCVs because your income really won't will kind of hit a slump at the top, and it can't increase any further. So you want to target down the medics so that 
stops them from healing their marines, it makes it harder to kill, it also takes longer to kill, and that does affect your time on the mission. And once you clear the marines and medics, uh, just try to um, stay away from the right side of the resistance tank. And just focus down the barracks and maybe the supply depots or whatever uh, units come along your way. And once you have enough greens, you want to go ahead and kill the siege tank. Here you want to have your Marines and your Medics on two different hotkeys, but that's uh, that can just kind of break through. Oh, okay, so it's not working out too much. So the point is to um, have the med Medics patrol and the Marines move. So while the Siege Tank fires and hits the Marines, the Medics will heal them while the Marines are moving. If you have them all grouped together, you're either going to have all the marines move and everyone die, or you're going to be attacking and moving, which is kind of slow. Especially since there's buildings in the way, so you'll target the buildings and you'll kind of take longer to get to the siege tank. So after you take down the siege tank, it's pretty much easy from here. You can just take down the rest of the buildings, keep sending in marines, um, just to destroy it. And that's GG. Alright guys, hope that was helpful. Um, if there's any comments or things I could do better, just let me know. Um, if you like this, then subscribe. It does help me a bit to know that people like what I do. Alright guys, uh, have fun playing.